This is a hookah focus setup for pistol round or if you just want to play off of contact for hookah. You place your turret here. You used to be able to place your util inside of these jars, but now you kind of have to awkwardly wedge the molly in and just place the alarm bot next to it. Now what this does is that when they are attacking, they're going to usually clear the default spots and they're going to run forward. Now when they run forward, they get hit by your alarm bot. You pop both of the mollies and since you are standing here, now you can just wall bang them. It's usually good for a mix up, but it's not necessarily my go to. My go to for the microwave reddit setup or whatever you want to call it is you place a molly where the shadow kind of just starts or whatever and you place one on this white sand circle thing and the good thing about this is that one it is slightly different from the standard microwave setup that people use and two it will hit the crate as well and you're getting pretty much a maximum range out of your molly you also pretty much always want to place the turret here because this turret in this specific spot, this sees them when they jump out of hookah and they can't even peek it from hookah. And in order to peek it from long, they have to hold a very steep angle with the turret, which if you're playing elbow, which you probably will be, you'll be able to see them and then swing off of your turret or with your turret. So you'll usually see them when they just run it out. Now for the long setup, you could use the turret on top of the shingle roof thing, whatever as I used before, or if you want to mix it up, you could put it in this corner. You can't put it on this plank of wood sign thing anymore, so you just kind of have to put it on the ground. You know, you just put a molly here, a molly here, alarm bot here, something like this. This is for if you, th you think they're going to go long. However, the hookah one's a lot more hard to deal with, but like I said, this is a mix-up. This isn't your go-to. Now, this is for if the other setups are not working, or you just kind of want to play for retake or for your life because you don't really want to die for the site or whatever. You look down here, look up, and then right click around here. It's not super specific and you can keep picking up the molly in the pregame, so it doesn't super matter too much. You put your alarm bot and your molly here, and this is for playing the retake. Perfectly mollies off default. Now for attacking, most people just put a molly here, just straight on the bomb, but no. You can do it better than that. You right click inside of this triangle metal thing on either side. You can't even wall bang this by the way and this covers default perfectly. It's just much better. If you're attacking, you can put your ult behind this wood thing that they can't wall bang, and this clears pretty much the entire site besides, you know, the CT area. It's still very good. Another one you can do, if you can move up slightly more, is you can place it here. This clears out the entire site and, you know, more of CT, basically. Now they can wall bang this. They have to pretty much be looking elbow only or be pushing up to it. So this one is more of if you want to shoot somebody who's going to try to wall bang your ultimate. This is kind of like a mind game one. However, most people don't even try to wall bang it, so, because it is a really weird angle, they don't know how to. For offense, a good retake alt is you go into elbow and place your alt here. Now this one gets very easily swung, so you want to put your alarm button turret. Your turret is honestly better than your teammates the majority of the time. So, as long as these two are here, they shouldn't be able just to swing and kill it. This also clears out the entire site hookah and forces them into lock. Now, you can actually wallbang this display thing. And also, another quick tip, if you place your alt facing it, it'll go on top of the shelf. And also, another, another tip, your alt has a blue circle around it. So all of these things combined means that not only would they see it on the map and just be able to wall bang it anyway, but now they have a visual indicator of exactly where your ultimate is. So just look to the right and place it. They can see the blue thing still, but they can't wall bang below. This clears not the entirety of hookah, but it gets them off holding into hookah and it also gets them forced to walk. All right, if you remember one thing from this video, all right, here is your A site PSA. Do not alt here. Everyone I see, including me before I was trying to do research for this video, alts here. For A site in general on defense, you kind of need someone to play Heaven. So this is like a team play Killjoy ultimate, but it's a very easy fight for the Heaven guy to win. You can place it behind this little vent here, and you can't even wall bang this, you have to rush it. It clears the same thing, and they can't wall bang it. So 
just do this alt every time, don't do the other two, in my opinion. You know how the other alt was a team play with the heaven guy? In this alt, you are the heaven guy. You place it here, and it clears out basically the same thing except even more of bench and sight. You can place these mollies, one on these newspapers, on this plank here. Now if you're attacking, you don't want to throw it too much to the left because they can actually wall bang these tiles. You want to throw it more to the right. This is also a team play ultimate because they, this isn't going to clear lamps or necessarily heaven too much. Throw a molly while looking just somewhere near this light on the wall or the door or what, it doesn't matter. And you do a running throw when you think that they're going to leave the alt because they decide they don't have time or they don't want to push it or they're going to leave now or whatever. Assuming you don't get skill issued with your molly out in your hand, you should honestly be fine. This is a good just stalling one. Place it in this corner and then aim at the left, stick out thing near this yellow triangle or pretty much anywhere up there throw it and this stops them from running out heaven getting to this pocket area or just you know being able to get on site in general now for the lineups aim at the v of this palm three this will land on the default plant without a sage wall and if you look to the left on lower detail there'll usually be a white thing here this is the molly for the sage wall which you might as well do anyway because it covers default, however, it, it just kind of depends on what you remember easier. This one, you can stand anywhere on the wall that you did the V one, and aim at the bottom of the yellow triangle. You throw it, and then this lands triple. For setups on A, you can place your turret on this crate, turret C 180 degrees. For a, like a shower setup, you can place it behind this plank once again, and one in the corner, an alarm bot, whatever. And this just delays the push. This one also sees them when they're pretty much pushed past Cubby on short. Now for a mix-up, you can put it on top of U-Haul. And this one sees them exactly when they push out of showers. And it sees them earlier when they're on a short. But overall, I usually like this one better. For a plant denial, aim at the top, pretty much anywhere at the top of the truck and do a right click throw at the corner here. And this pretty much just stops the default. For another showers killjoy setup, you can place it on top and you put, and then you just do the same setup from before. Also, this one is more focused on showers specifically because it's a lot harder to clear it and it does see them exactly when they push out. They'll pretty much only get seen by it on site if they push all the way to the left with no sage wall, which this will see over the sage wall if they're playing lamps area. Honestly, you should probably just do the other one. This is another mix up turret. And yeah, that is pretty much every single lineup and trick that I could learn from online for Bind. There'll be more videos like this for other maps. So subscribe if you wanna get notified whenever those come out and uh, like this video if you liked it, because you have no idea how much that helps me. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Make sure you have yourself a damn good one. <laughs> it's a bit of a killjoy diff this patch. He's so pissed. <laughs>